Everything is on the internet, and I mean everything. Sadly, a lot of that includes content you never want to see, and you certainly don't want anyone in your household to see. The good news is that if you use a Mac and Safari, there are a few ways you can block websites to prevent the wrong people from seeing them. Use parental controls to block websites in Safari on Mac. Here's how to restrict the content an account can access. First, log into the account you want to restrict. Typically, you would create a standard user account for someone like a child. Once logged into the account, click the Apple icon in the top left of the screen. Then, click System Preferences, and then Screen Time. Next, click on Content and Privacy. Then, turn the restrictions on. Under Web Content, you can choose Limit Adult Websites to automatically filter most known sites with adult content. However, if you click Customize, you can add your own list of specific sites, adult or otherwise. Choosing Allowed Websites Only lets you set the only sites that account can visit instead. Next, choose Options and then enable Use Screen Time Passcode. Set up a code, otherwise the user will simply turn off the restrictions. With your content rules set and a passcode in place, you're ready to hand over the account to the user you're trying to protect. Alternatively, you can use an app to block sites on Safari. For example, Self Control a free app for Mac machines that lets you block sites on your computer. With this app, you can even define the duration for which you want a specified site to remain blocked. Once the time period has passed, those sites will become accessible again. Download the app, move it to the Applications folder and launch it. On the main interface, click on the Edit Blacklist button to specify your websites. Click on the plus sign on the following screen to add websites to the block list. Optionally, you can even import websites to be blocked from the internet. Drag the slider on the main interface to adjust the block duration. Then click on the Start button to start the blocking period. Your selected sites will remain inaccessible for the time period you've chosen in the application. An additional feature that this app provides is a list called a whitelist. This list lets you specify sites that you want accessible, keeping all other sites on the internet blocked. Be cautious while using this feature and only use it in situations where only specific websites are to be allowed on a machine. You can also modify your Mac's host file to act as a website block list. This is a little bit more advanced and requires a bit of digging around in the terminal, but if you're up for it, you can find detailed instructions in the article link in the description below. See you next time.